Hi everybody, I'm Jen and this is the opensource.com weekly top five. So let's hop right in this week. At number five, St. Patty's Day Special, seven Irish open source developers. On Tuesday this week, we celebrated St. Patty's Day along with the rest of the world and we gave you a roundup of seven open source developers you should know. You can check out our list by Ricky Inslee and Dave Neary and if you have someone that you think we missed, please let us know on Twitter. At number four, a Linux distro for education, Uber student. This week marked the start of our series, Open Source and Education, and Joshua Allen Holmes' introduction and tutorial on Uber student was a hit. Uber student is a customized Linux distribution designed for secondary and post-secondary education. So this is a great read for any student, teacher, or education administrator interested in alternatives. This guide will show you how to understand, install, and navigate Uber student. At number three, disaster recovery planning from Waffle House. Did you know that Waffle House restaurants are a model for disaster recovery? Well, I did not, but they are, and people are noticing around the country. But why are we talking about that on opensource.com? Well, having a disaster recovery plan is important for all businesses, tech included. In this article, writer Brian Prophet says that it's something everyone knows they should do, but rarely does. So, get some great pointers for your open source project, group, or business in this easy to digest read. At number two, Docker security in the future. Dan Walsh brings us a technical article about the new Docker security features his team at Red Hat are working on to make the statement, containers do not contain, less true. So beyond the valuable information that Dan shares on things like user namespaces, container separation modes, and the administration of containers, what you can take away from this article is that Red Hat and Docker are making progress on making containers more secure, and that's a very good thing. Finally, at number one this week, create your own musical light show with Raspberry Pi. In this fun tutorial, Anderson Silva shows us how to use a Raspberry Pi board and an open source project called Light Show Pi to create a musical light show. See his dancing Christmas tree video and more instructions in this great article. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining me, and I will hopefully see you next time. Thanks.